Ogolf Kragerfunnen is a jewel in the crown of Welsh caves. It is very well decorated throughout much of its length and contains some of the largest passages under Thlangatak Mountain. For many explorers, a trip into the cave culminates at the largest chamber in the system, which was named by those who were lucky enough to enter it for the very first time, the Hall of the Mountain King. The roof of this impressive 28 metre high dome chamber is adorned with an array of giant flowstone stalactites. Beyond this chamber, the going gets tough. Really tough. A 12 metre flat out crawl leads to a further 250 metres of hands and knees crawling, interspersed with squeezes and more flat out sections. Negotiating this section is very tiring, and quite frankly, it is not very pleasant. Oh, and the decorations in this section are few and far between. So why does anyone venture further into Ogov Craigafunnan than the Hall of the Mountain King? It's very kind of you to carry all my camera gear. <laughs> well, we're hoping to leave it at the farthest point. It's been done before. <laughs> the answer is that in its further reaches, the cave hides a secret. Something that the original explorers went to extraordinary lengths to keep hidden. These efforts extended as far as completely erasing from the cave survey the passage where it is hidden. Today our aim is to find the missing passage and to discover its secret treasure. Getting back on our feet after 20 minutes or so of crawling and squeezing was a real relief. We entered a long straight phreatic canyon called Seven Tunnel along which it was easy to make rapid progress. Beyond this is a series of large arched roof chambers connected by boulder ruckles and chokes. Finally, in an alcove off one of these enormous chambers, we spied a few cave formations, which gave us a hint that we may be nearing what we had come to find, Helictide Passage. Were the original explorers right to deliberately conceal this beautifully decorated but extremely vulnerable area? I don't know, but I am grateful that the measures that have been taken to preserve it and protect it mean that it will be there for future generations of cave explorers to enjoy.
After this there was just one more sight to see. At the bottom of this 6 metre pitch is another well decorated chamber containing a stalagmite shaped like a pagoda. That's no good. We're going to have to do a retake. Can you go back to your starting positions please? <laughs> 